What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka The Blue Crusader, and welcome back to the channel. With the many thousands of games out there to pick and choose to play, it can make things a tough choice to decide what you want to try out. Free games are a great choice when we have empty pockets or to try something out to see if we want to dedicate more time to it, and there's some great titles to play that don't break the bank. Before watching this video, consider watching the top 10 free PC games videos from 2020 in the description down below for many of your favourite games that I may not have featured on this list, like Genshin Impact, Apex Legends and more. Also check out yesterday's video on the top 10 free to play games of 2021 that are not only just on Steam. That video shows 10 more games which are not only games from Steam, games which are different to the ones featured in this video. Here's a few new and lesser known picks for 2021. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 10, Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is a 2D based fighting game for many platforms and it has a fun cartoon style, supporting up to 8 local or online players with full on crossplay support. The game offers casual based free for all games, ranked matches or private rooms to play with friends with a choice between 50 or more different legends to play. This game is fun to climb the ranks ladder in or play with friends. Each legend in game has unique abilities, movement and weapon combos to suit your personal style and mastery. Number 9, The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. I'm a huge fan of Square Enix's Life is Strange series, so I had to feature this title on the list. Captain Spirit is a story-based game centred on a nine-year-old kid called Chris who has a wild creative imagination, which he then uses to escape reality and go on fantastic adventures using his alter ego Captain Spirit. This game is basically a free demo-length story game which is based on the Life is Strange game universe and it gives you a sneak peek of what to expect in the other games too. Number 8, Cuisine Royale. Cuisine Royale, now named Cursed Fode, is a game that basically started off as a joke and became a real game. It's an MMO last man standing shooter, which in basic terms means it's a battle royale game with a large selection of realistic weapons and incredible powers and utilities. You can go all guns blazing or use stealth to crawl behind enemy lines or snipe from a distance. There's a lot of methods of playing this game and you can even use gadgets like jetpacks and superpowers which each class offers a different one for. There's large open PvP battle zones, 7 champions to pick with each one having a unique power, weapons and armour features that keep expanding, a large list of cosmetic items to let your player look even better, the option to play in third person or first person view, and regular special events and seasonal events as well as daily tasks and secret missions that grant items and rewards. Number 7, Planet Side 2. Planet Side 2 is a large scale massively multiplayer first person shooter game offering truly large scale combat, with the support of many different players being able to play at once, with thousands of players battling across huge continents in a single game alone. You can utilise a mix of different infantry in this game which includes both air and vehicles on land and use teamwork to fight the enemy team. This game is entirely unique just plainly due to its massive scale and its awesome modern sci-fi theme. This game was pretty groundbreaking when it was released as there wasn't really anything quite like this in terms of scale. Number 6, Black Squad. Black Squad is a military FPS game that's focused on strategy and it offers a lot of weaponry to choose in your loadout with a wide assortment of different game modes and maps to play on. The game contains 10 different modes including competitive, demolition and team deathmatch just to name a few. Over 85 new weapons with SMGs, shotguns, snipers, rifles, pistols, LMGs and more. Over 48 maps to master and play on, 10 custom characters to collect and north of over 460 plus different skins for customization options. The reason why Black Squad is a good game is that every item in the game can actually be earned just by playing it, so it's not pay to win or pay to skin as I like to call some titles. Casual and competitive game types offer something different for everyone and there's a lot of challenge in this game, with missions offering rewards being available to play too. Number 5 Conqueror's Blade a huge MMO based upon medieval Warcraft, this tactical MMO game lets you create a warlord from 11 different class options and fight in awesome 15 vs 15 siege battles. You can utilise special abilities as well as powerful weapons and craft strategies to win. You send your units 
forward to secure land and power for yourself, and you can ally with rival warlords to become a conqueror. This siege craft as you utilise siege weapons like trebuchets, towers and mortars, and then command your legion from horseback. Each class offers different playstyles with different abilities and a certain tactical advantage over your enemies depending which one you choose. Number 4 Cross Out Crossout is a large MMO game which is set in a post-apocalyptic universe where you craft battle machines from different interchangeable parts to cause destruction in PvP battles with your enemies online. From bare bones buggies to large heavy off-roaders, you can craft unique vehicles in this game with complete freedom over the creative process, using different shapes and varieties of armour and a large arsenal of weapons from chainsaws, power drills, machine guns or even rocket launchers, stealth generators and flying drones. You can trade parts with other players and master the perfect strategy for survival. Number 3 Trove with this channel mainly being a Minecraft channel and one that covers a lot of survival and block based games, Trove had to see a feature on this list too. This game is perfect to play with friends and it's an MMO with a big adventure. You battle the shadow forces and traverse through incredible dungeons and hunt for treasure in this game. You can pick from the following classes, Knight, Gunslinger, Ice Sage, Dracolite, Pirate with the Parrot, as well as many other more classes, each having a fresh look and set of abilities. The endless realms in this game are entirely destructible and voxel based and they have creatures from cats to fire breathing dragons and exploration is big in this game. You can collect loot and get rich from your treasure finding and even build your own personal home block by block which can be placed in specially marked plots across the world that you're visiting. You can also collaborate with friends to build club worlds to play on or use your imagination just to build things. Number 2 Path of Exile As in Exile you must struggle to survive in Rayclast, the continent in the game this is set in, as you earn power and fight to get revenge against your betrayers. This game is an action RPG game set in a dark fantasy world with heavy inspiration from Blizzard's Diablo series and similar games of that genre, so you should feel at home if you've played any of those types before. There's great character customization in this game, with hundreds of skill combinations and a large skill tree to assign points to. Each character has unique missions with variations to them that lets you be challenged and then explore deeper into the world. This game has a heavy focus upon seeking and collecting items, with many having magical arcane properties to them which go towards enhancing the best combos. There's a highly competitive nature to this game, especially in the PvP tournaments and world events like Capture the Flag, and it has a strict no pay to win model. Number 1 Cry of Fear Released back in 2013 and originally as a Half-Life 1 mod, this is a game I played many years ago and it's nice to see it's received more recognition in the recent years and months. Cry of Fear is a psychological horror survival game that supports the single player and cooperative types of gameplay, set in a deserted town that's plagued by nightmarish creatures and delusions of horror. This game is set in Scandinavia and you play looking for answers, traversing through a horrifying city. This game offers over 8 hours of gameplay with over 20 different unlockables to make it interesting as well as multiple choices of endings to give it more of a high replayability value. You can play the full campaign with up to 4 players if you don't want to experience the horror alone and there's strong modding support in the game with 12 custom campaigns and 24 different weapons to use. There's also even an extra campaign that you can unlock after you beat the game and anyone who likes a great soundtrack shouldn't be disappointed because the soundtrack is actually really chilling and it really adds to the depth of the game while you're playing it. And that concludes the top 10 free to play Steam games of 2021. For 10 more free to play games which are both on Steam and on other websites and launchers, do check out yesterday's video of the top 10 free to play games of 2021 for 10 different suggestions for you to play. That will be linked down below in the link in the description as well as the other game videos I've done on free to play games and it'll also be linked after this outro at the end of the video. If you enjoyed watching, make sure to give it a like and subscribe with notifications turned on and check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.